Hello and welcome to lesson 18 in Free Code Camp's Bootstrap section. This lesson is line up form elements responsively with Bootstrap. So now let's get your form input and your submission button on the same line. We'll do this the same way we um, we have previously by using a div element with the class row and other div elements within it using the column extra small and then asterisk class. Um, nest both of nest both your forms text input and submit button within a div with the class row. Nest your forms text input within a div with class column extra small seven. Nest your form submit button in a div with the class column extra small five. This is the last challenge we'll do for our cat photo app for now. We hope you've enjoyed learning font awesome, bootstrap, and responsive design. So and that's both of your forms, text input and submit button. So let's go down here. We're doing the same thing we did to all those other ones, but now we're focusing in on we're focusing on right here. Just to make it kind of clear. And right here. So we're focusing on these two things, our input, the text field, and our button, our submit button. They want us to do the same thing, put a div around. Should, should go to there. Okay, so our opening div goes there, and then closing div goes here because we want our input and button inside of there. We're giving it a class of row like we did to the other ones. And then the first, the text field, the input element, we're gonna put around a div with class of column extra small, and I think they say seven. And then of course we put our closing div around here. And then our next button also gets its own div. This one's going to have a class of column extra small five. And then we're going to close it under here. And so now something's going on here. So let's look at this. This is our first button. Or everything should be inside of a div. And then we have our um, input field has a, this div. We should have this div. Oh, forgot to close this off here. Okay. So let's scroll down. It's Looking good, our text field and our submit button are on the same, on the same row. Okay, so let's continue on. Okay. 